Morning, y'all. I have an announcement of utmost importance. My birthday is a month away. Ah! Okay, that's not the most important thing, but it is to me. No, um, you know, I was thinking this morning, what is something I wanted to touch on today, and I really felt in my heart, um, to talk about the fear of man. <laughs> You'll see, it relates. So Proverbs 29, 20, 25 says. The fear of man will prove to be a snare, but those who trust in the Lord will be kept safe. Okay? So, where do we see the fear of man? Or who has the fear of man? We see it everywhere, and everybody has it. Like, if you say, I don't care what people think, you're fooling yourself. Every single human being on planet Earth has the fear of man, but it's a matter of keeping that fear in check keeping that fear and submission to the Lord, recognizing it and giving it right back to God and say, uh-uh, no thanks, not mine. So what is the number one fear? What is the number one fear? Like when everybody takes a poll and a consensus, the number one fear above riding in an airplane, above dying is public speaking. Now what's public speaking? It's you being vulnerable all eyes on you standing in front of a crowd and people be judging you at least that's what you think oh how'd that come out what did people hear did my voice crackle i remember when i used to get really nervous and my voice would crackle my heart was like da, 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 da. and now i love public speaking but anyway i had to get over the fear i was deathly afraid like panicked probably uh uh you know just an attack on the my giftings from an early age until I exposed myself and got past it. Like basically that panic that I used to have for public speaking, I said, no, this is not possible. Something can't have control of me to this degree. So I went after and I attacked it and I love it. It's like my favorite thing. I make videos talking to people, you guys. <laughs> I have a really big mouth and I use it and I love to use it. So anyway, so the number one fear is public speaking. What is public speaking? When you boil it down to its a foundational component it's fear of man fear of people's opinions fear of people judging you making an opinion about you thinking about you in a way that's not positive um you know all the the uh what's it called studies and stats always show that that uh for one negative thing you need like 10 positive comments because that one negative comment is going to play over and over and over and stand out in your mind so why am I talking about the fear of man because when you decide that you're gonna live differently from the culture like in your finances say uh, I'm not gonna have credit cards I don't even give a crap about a credit score fear of man what are people gonna think about you you're weird what's wrong with you why don't you do things normal hmm I'm not going to buy a house until I'm absolutely debt free, even student loans. What's wrong with you? You're throwing away your money on rent because you could just get a FHA loan, 3.5% down. You're throwing it away. Look how much you pay for rent. No, an FHA loan is for people who can't afford to buy a house, should not be buying a house. That loan shouldn't even exist, okay? Because that just means you're making something accessible to somebody who doesn't have money and people think that buying a house leads to wealth not if you're broke it leads to poverty you are not in a position to buy a house so if you're that weird person that says I can't afford a house because you know I still don't got my 10% down you know my emergency fund in place and I mean 10% is like the bare minimum 10% is still like you're like you're like uh, teetering on the edge. But that's also with your emergency fund in place. The order that Dave Ramsey says, the three to six months of expenses, so that way in case life happens, which it always does, you have money and you don't have to go into debt to survive. I mean, even in my real estate course, oh, I was loving all the stuff about mortgages, but even in my real estate course, it talks about, um, you should get a home equity line just in case for emergencies. What? So you already have an emergency in your life and you're gonna go into debt to solve that emergency? 
Uh, wrong. Do not get an equity line. Do not lean on those things. Because all you're going to do is set yourself up for a problem that you can't get out of very easily. Anyway, going back to the fear of man. If you decide to live differently than the conventional, you're going to get pushback. You're going to be looked at weird. I mean, I've been looked at weird since, I don't know, day one. Okay? And uh, you're going to be looked at weird. So, my question to you is, this is my question to you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to choose your path. And you and I have a very different path. Everybody has a different path. My question to you is, what are the desires in your heart? And what are the goals you want to attain? And is fear of man part of what's keeping you from it? For example, you want to lose weight, but you don't want to start a diet because you don't want everybody to see you fail. Okay. You have a goal, but you don't even want to go after it because you don't want people to see you fail. What happened to that person that was, uh, you know, what happened to the ex-person that was going after this career? What happened to them? Oh, now they work at Starbucks? <laughs> Is fear of man preventing you from going after what's in your heart? Again, we all struggle with it. But it's about seeing it and keeping it in check and saying, no, that's not mine. I will not be dictated what my future looks like, what I'm going to do in life because of what other people think of me. My actions will not be controlled. My thoughts, my thoughts about, my, my, about myself based on what other people think of me, you know. In the way that society is trending culturally and the decisions people are making and things that were never um, maybe even acceptable or seen in the past and now it's like popular to be one way and unpopular to be another way. Um, if the whole crowd's going one way and you have a conviction to go the other way. If you have a moral conviction to go the other way, then go the other way. Go the other way. So what if there was backlash? So what? If you know what's right in your heart for your life, for your family, for your goals, go the other way. You know King Saul, uh, from the very beginning, from when they were trying to crown him king, he was hidden with the luggage, you know, as they were like trying to parade through the street or whatever, because he feared man. And ultimately, what led him to his demise was the fear of man. So here's this person who had all the capacity to reign over a kingdom. Uh, who had he was like the first chosen king by God chosen by God a king of his chosen people and so he had what he needed to reign the capacity the skill the characteristics everything but he feared men and what happened his reign was cut short his destiny was cut short I'm literally picturing in my head, and this might speak to somebody in particular, but I'm literally seeing like, like clouds uh, covering the sky, like a um, what is it called when um, an overcast of clouds has a name, and uh, a person flying up, breaking through those clouds, and then it's like smooth sailing from there, like shooting straight up like a rocket in the sky, okay? And what do, what do I hear when I see that? I hear, once you cross the fear of man, you will be free to accomplish what God has purposed you to do. But you gotta break through those clouds. So, what are some action steps? It's analyzing yourself. Where, what decisions are you currently making? Forget the past. Well, I mean, at least the past can be an instrument of learning. But 
What decisions are you currently making or not making? <laughs> because you worry about what somebody else is going to think about you, even your parents. Okay? What decision are you making or not making that is controlled by other people because you have let them? And decide today that you will no longer allow that to happen and decide today um, some action steps towards those things that you know you're supposed to go after and go after them. One step at a time, consistency equals success. But do not, do not let popular culture, do not let others' opinions, do not let what other others, the expectations others have placed upon you change your path you have a path designed for you you will flourish on that path so go after that path and do not do not do not do not do not let others make you hinder you or or drive you in another direction get on your path i hope this blesses you this is what was on my heart and in order to get to where you're going, in order to hit your goals, you're just going to have to be a little weird. In order to win with money, you're going to have to be weird. Because it's not the way to win with money is not the way culture advises you. It just isn't. So what do you want? You can want whatever you want. It doesn't have to be aligned with what I want because we're different. But what is it that you want? And go after that. All right? Have a great day, you guys.